Howdy folks, TJ here. What do I have behind me? Well, I've got my Timex Sinclair TS2068, and I'm gonna actually try to connect it for the first time to just a regular HDMI monitor. Now you're saying, TJ, you can't do that. You need an old TV, you need an RF modulator, all that stuff. But with the Pico device that I now rock on my TS2068, and this thing that I'm about to show you that David Anderson sent me, Pico Video, it is a video slot card, or I should say a little, the extender card that's on there that I've showed you before. There's three slots, one for the original Pico device so I can access SD card and all those fun games and applications. There's two others. Well, one of the devices they just came out with I don't believe it's officially for sale yet, but I would think any day now. He said they're done. He sent me one. The manual's not done yet, but here you go. <laughs> and he kind of gave me some tips on how to use it. Basically, what it is is a VGA board device with also sound out that you can plug into one of those slots on that Pico Expander card plug in a, a set of powered speakers, or if you're going to an HDMI TV, and if you're running a VGA to HDMI adapter, which I happen to have, you can run sound through it or directly to speakers. There's all sorts of variations you can do. But today I wanted to do something different. That behind me is one of my nicest monitors. Actually, monitor-wise, it's the nicest monitor I have in the house. It's an HP Omen I always forget, 32 inch or 34 inch, it's big. Not as big as my four, uh, 43 inch 4K TV, but that's over there and I've got a lot of boxes in the way right now. And I thought, you know what? This is a VGA card. I've got an HDMI, a VGA to HDMI adapter. Uh, we're gonna try that out and actually go piping it out to an HDMI port. I happen to have a pair of Bose speaker system that has a little bass box and two satellite speakers that I'm gonna plug into this card. I've never heard much sound from my TS2068. There's the built-in little speaker, and you gotta kinda of hold your ear up to it. It's not crispy uh, audio. The video is not crispy video because I was running off of RF, and everything's old, so it was wavy, it was funky. This should make life much better and make me wanna use my Timex TS2068 more. Let me show you the card first. Then I'm going to have to go back and watch my video because if you remember, I'm not a command line junkie. So with the Pico device, you have to type in some commands to load stuff up, right? So I'm, I, I, it's been a month since I've done it, something like that. So I already forgot uh, what I need to type in to do it. But let's show you the card first. So he was nice enough to send me this card for testing. Uh, the one that I'm guessing they're going to sell is going to be like this, but maybe a little different because there's a USB port I'm here. I'm going to show you. And he said they may not be including that. Uh, and I'll show you. So anyway, here is the card. Front of it. Okay. Uh, here is the back of the card. And now that I'm looking at the front of it, because I haven't paid attention much other than I open the box. <laughs> so this is a Raspberry Pi. You can see there is a Raspberry Pi a little uh, card, or I should say it's basically a computer. I mean, right? Uh, a Raspberry computer there. It's got some uh, uh, resistors and some chips and some other things on here that I really don't know much about yet. I think my cat's going to want out. Can you hold on a second? Hold on a second. When I start talking, I talk loud. They start going, oh, something's going on here. I don't want to be in here anymore. Uh, which is perfectly fine because, you know, to tell you the truth, cats get in the way all the time. They're always breaking shit. Uh, and then I get in trouble for it. I don't get that. It's her, her cats. Oh, okay. So you saw the front, like I said. Uh, and here's the side, the working end. So you can see, I can already see a little, is that a piece of hair? I don't know what that is. Uh, so there is a VGA port, a audio headphone type of port, and then a little USB one. Uh, when I asked David what that was for, initially he said 
that you could connect this to power your VGA to HDMI adapter because those need power. But he said the Texas Instruments, not Ted. Oh, jeez. I don't want to say Texas Instruments, but everything starts with a T. Timex, Texas Instruments, Timex 2068, the power supply may not be beefy enough to run all these things at the same time. So they may not be including that as a feature, which is fine. I, you know, most folks have a USB a hub of some kind that can power and you can just uh, you know run power that way to your uh, VGA to HDMI adapter but needless to say I'm going to connect a VGA cable to that I've got a little and I'm not going to show you a close up but I've made some past videos it's a simple little device that gets power from a USB port and it takes your VGA to HDMI I've connected that to this monitor and we're going to hope for the best so anyway the card is just a regular edge connector. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into my Timex Sinclair DS2068, uh, and then we'll put the video over there. We're gonna turn it off for the first time together and see if we get video. Uh, but before I do that, like I said, I, I need to watch what's it, it, it when it gets to the command line prop TS Pico. I already forgot. I'm gonna have to remind myself what the hell I need to type in. One day, hopefully, uh, for dummies like me, they make a menu system that when you turn it on, you can auto run it somehow and it just brings up a menu of everything on the SD card. And then you can use your joystick. I've got my uh, Epix joystick over there and manually select it because typing is for the birds. <laughs> I mean, I I'll do it, uh, but I'm not good at it because you got to remember all this stuff and I, I don't often remember who I am, you know, when I wake up in the morning. So anyway, hold tight. Let me plug the card in. We'll, we'll show you video of how it's all connected, and then we're going to try to turn it on and see what happens. So hold tight. All right, testing time. Timex TS2068. Epix joystick connected. I've got my Pico in the front slot. Something I just noticed. I thought there was only three ports. There's four. So I've got the Pico on the front, the new video card right behind it, and two more slots to fill in with something and an expansion slot on the back. On this side, I've got the VGA cable connected, a sound uh, speaker cable going to my Bose speakers. This VGA cable travels all the way over here to an HDMI uh, device. It's a VGA to HDMI, and I'm just piping out to this big screen monitor. So that is the complete rig. I've got my Pico book on the handy. We're going to go ahead and actually see if we can get all this to work. So let me uh, do this, uh, lock in, and let's go ahead and start up the computer. I've got it all plugged in. Uh, let's hope for the best. Let me put my glasses back on. Okay, uh, go. I hear a little noise. The noise stopped. Blinking. And a black box. <laughs> um, I just spit, spit on my glasses. So uh, apparently, uh, there's a black box, a return key. Uh, nothing on the video. The beautiful thing, you know, I've had some other computers before that have expansion cards. And you turn it on and it don't work. But then there's a reset button on set device and then it resets everything. So let's try... Since there's a reset button on here without turning on and off, let's hit the reset button, which is this big middle one. You hear that, DD? And then now there's video. And it's crispy ass video. Uh, holy schmoses. I've never seen a Timex Sinclair this clear before. Uh, my eyes suck, but it looks clear. 1982. That looks beautiful. I hear the noise. I've got this is my speak. My speakers turned up as loud as they can be. I heard a little gnip gnop and sound, but nothing super loud. I don't know if that's adjustable, but let's focus in on the screen. And we're going to type in some commands. <laughs> if you remember right, there's a whole bunch of command line stuff we got to do. So return. All right. So uh, let's do a dir. Uh, so if you remember right, you got to load, quote, uh, TPI. you got to put TPI in front of everything, uh, colon, uh, dir for directory. 
And there's the directory. I want to I wanna play Crazy Bugs because that's a game that I'm familiar with. I know what the sound sounds like. I know what the video looks like on the old computer. So I'm going to do comparison. So now I need to get into A&M. So you got to change your mind here. It's not load, but you got to save, quote, TPI colon CD for change directory space A comma M end quote. Okay. Okay, and it says okay. So good, I've got that. So now uh, let's do a dir. So uh, load a uh, quote TPI a uh, colon a uh, dir. Okay, uh, there's all I want to go in the C. Okay, so save quote a uh, TPI a uh, colon oh shit uh, stop TPI a uh, colon. Uh, what was I going to do? I want to go into C. Uh, CD space C. Okay. It says okay. Now let's do another dir. dir load uh, TPI uh, colon. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, TPI colon dir. All right. There's crazy bugs. Now let's load the son of a bee's weasels. Load quote, TPI, colon, crazy bugs with a capital C, and then B, Uggs, bugs, dot, T, A, P. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and now you got to do another load. Load, quote, quote. Loading, AWA software presents crazy bugs. I've never seen it this freaking clear. Let me focus in on the screen. Let's X. Oh, shit. I just, I just kicked the screen <laughs> a little bit. The camera. Okay, let's uh, focus in. That, that's good enough, I think, for the video, right? Focus. Okay. Uh, now, try not to hit the tripod. Uh, I've got my joystick ready. Uh, put eggs in locks. Uh, escape from the maze. Okay. Uh, return. Uh, difficulty one. Okay, the sound is definitely. I've got the sound turned up as much as I can. Sound is definitely better than not having speakers. It's not blaringly loud, and that could just be my setup. Uh, where's the other egg? Go get the egg. Is that an egg? Okay, and then, then uh, the lock thing. It says lock. Uh, oh shit. Uh, there's another. Uh, go down there, get it. Uh, down, 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 up. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Uh, get it. Got it. Good. Okay. Now get out of the range of these son of a bees weasels. Okay. There's another eggy thing over here. Go get him. Okay. Got him. Oh, up. Down. I'm kicking ass. Oh, there's a door. Go get it. Oh, shit. Oh, I almost got snagged. That's much louder than normal. Okay, this is good. This makes this so good. I've never seen a Timex this clear before or had sound this loud before. Uh, holy crapola. Okay, down. Uh, what? I didn't read, but what is that? It's just lock. <laughs> is that I, I, like a basket I'm putting him in? I, I should have read the destructions. I've played this game a number of times, but... Okay, oh, shit. Uh, get out of the range. Okay, whole ass over here. Down, down, down. Okay, up. Shoot over. Look at that little dude. Got him. Okay, where's the next... Oh, oh. Down. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, I, gotta, I just got to elude. I'll come back. I'll come back to you. Oh, the door's way the frick up there. Shit, go, go. Oh, my joystick's clogging up. <laughs> Holy smokes. This is so crisp, clear. Sound is better. I piped out the speakers. This makes the Timex a whole new world for computing. 
I can see now that I'm going to have this readily available to use and do use this a lot more. Now, I do wish at some point a menu system is made that takes the joystick, you turn it on, it auto loads the SD card, and you can use the joystick to click and clank and get through stuff. That will make it worlds uh, a difference. But for now, TPI is your friend. <laughs> TP, TP is our friend. Uh, this is wonderful. Thank you, David, for sending me this. I'll test some more. But as you saw, there was uh, a minor hiccup. I turned everything on, and I got just a black screen. I hit the reset, and the video came. Let, let's try something. Turn it off. Wait a few seconds. Let's turn it back on and see if it works fine uh, the second time around. Go. Go. Nope, black box, black box. Okay, uh, reset. And you did, and it works. So for whatever reason, and maybe this is just, it's a new thing. This device, as I said, the, the video card is brand new. Uh, I don't know if they're even selling it yet. I don't even have a link to their website yet that shows any info it's that new. When I do, I'll add it to the description down below. But definitely visit the main TPI website, which I've given before. And I'll put the link down to that below. Uh, as they come out with it, I'm guessing they're going to be selling these and uh, all that fun stuff. So anyway, success. I've now got piped out to a big old monitor, my Timex Sinclair TS2068. What a treat. Thanks for watching. Bye.